Good Sunday morning and welcome to WGN TV Political Report. I'm Paul Lisnick. After months on the campaign trail, dozens of endorsements and heated ad wars on Tuesday, Chicago will elect a new mayor. As the clock tick toward, ticks toward the close of the polls, Paul Vallis, Brandon Johnson are making their last pitch to voters after our WGN poll found 13% of voters were still undecided last week. The race could come down to whose message connects more and who actually shows up to vote. Well, Tom Bowen is principal and co-founder of New Chicago Consulting. He's worked on mayoral campaigns for Rahm Emanuel, Lori Lightfoot, as well as dozens of other races across the political spectrum. Tom, thanks for joining me. Thanks for having me. So our poll shows Vallis ahead uh, last week by five points, three point margin of error. So it, it's within the margin. Um, traditionally, and based on your work, how much will polls shift in the last week or so of an election? Well, um, Chicago doesn't often have uh, competitive races for mayor in the modern era of politics. So um, even though it does seem like we've had uh, two changes as of late, um, this is a more recent phenomenon. And so uh, you can have quite a few voters change their mind uh, in the closing week. Well, let's talk about the undecideds right now. As I said, leading into you, 13% of voters who are reporting that they are undecided. Uh, and other polls show similar numbers as well. Now, a, a large number of women voters, African-American voters, they're still up for grabs. So assuming that Mr. Vallis, Mr. Johnson are watching us this morning, what advice do you have for them in the final 48 hours of the campaign to convince the undecideds to go their way? Right. Well, it's always about prioritizing the issues that matter most to those voters. And public safety uh, has been a top concern for all voters in Chicago uh, for the past couple of years. I think both candidates uh, need to make sure those voters think uh, they have the right plans, um, the capability of accomplishing them, and um, doing things a little bit differently than, uh, you know, Mayor Lightfoot, which... Um, you know, since she is not uh, a candidate that didn't make the runoff, um, obviously they're looking for change. So let me pick up on your answer. You talk about focusing in on the issues. As far as the issues go, uh, our poll was very clear that crime was number one by a huge margin in our poll, followed by education and the economy, of course. Vallis actually in our poll led in all three of those categories. So if you were advising Brandon Johnson, uh, is, is his effort, in your view, better focused on the issues or should he enhance his attacks on Vallis, which so much of what he is doing lately is to do, is to go after Vallis? Yeah, I think uh, Commissioner Johnson is doing um, the right thing strategically, which is um, making this a contest about Democrats versus Republicans um, is, in a way, a value statement. And uh, voters do want you to have good plans, but they also want those plans to align with their values. Chicago is a Democratic city. Uh, about 80 percent of the voters here cast their votes for Democrats like Joe Biden. And um, Johnson has to do a two-step here, talk about the issues, but also make sure voters understand that Paul Vallis uh, would have in the commissioner's uh, critique a more Republican way of approaching them. So if Paul Vallis is watching us, he'll say, OK, that's good news. That's you know wonderful advice for Johnson. What about me? And so the question is, if you're advising Paul Vallis, he's in the lead in our poll. So would you say, Mr. Vallis, just chill, don't don't do much. Keep keep your message positive. Or should he also continue to say throw some barbs at Brandon Johnson so he doesn't lose anybody? What would you advise Vallis? Well, with a uh, pool of undecideds that's more female and more black, it, it's very obvious that um, attacks on Paul Vallis uh, as Republican or associated with Republicans can really um, repel those voters away from him. So he has to keep Commissioner Johnson away from those voters, and he's obviously done that with attacks on uh, his, his uh, statements on public safety, his economic plans about um, taxing and spending. Um, and then he's also putting some positive uh, communication out there with um, Democrats voters know to reassure them that he has Democratic values. So Mayor Lightfoot has not endorsed uh, in the election yet. It doesn't look like she will. I wouldn't think so. But you have worked with her. So uh, your sense, you think we get a last minute endorsement from her? And then, of course, the ultimate question, is that a good thing or a bad thing for the candidates she endorses? Yeah, uh, that's not something I have discussed with her, so I have no um, special knowledge here. I think uh, at this point, um, 
it is uh, most likely she is not uh, going to make a statement in this race um, and let the voters really have their say here. And if she did, would it be a good thing or a bad thing for that candidate, given her, her you know, results in the last election? Well, I think um, an undecided pool of women and black voters uh, would be a friendly audience to the mayor. So her support could be decisive um, in a positive way. Uh, but again, I think I, you know, no special knowledge here, but I think that is um, not something that is likely at this point. All right. And just out of curiosity, we only have about 30 seconds. City Council going for more independence. Do you think both of these mayor mayoral candidates are going to be open to that independence? What, how do you see the dynamics playing out? I don't think they're going to have a choice, to be very honest here. I think both of these candidates are, you know, folks that come from, you know, the, the left and to the right uh, where their bases are. And these uh, aldermen in the city council uh, have decided that they are going to assert some authority. So um, I'm not sure uh, the next mayor is really going to have uh, much of an option here, but to work more collaboratively with those city council members who think uh, independence is a good thing. We're going to see how that all plays out. Tom Bow and New Chicago Consulting, thank you so much for being with me. Have a great Sunday. We'll see you again soon. Thanks for having me. All right, we're going to take our first break. Coming up next on WGN TV Political Report. And it's been so important for me to communicate with the constituents that I serve so that they understand where I'm coming from. The hotly contested race for Chicago's 11th Ward. Can incumbent Nicole Lee hang on to her seat on City Council? She's going to join me when we come back.